Technology allows us to do some incredible things, including what we're about to witness in this video. We are about to walk around the world's most infamous ship, the Titanic. It sailed over 110 years ago and full one-to-one -one authentic recreation here in a video game. Let's hop into it. Picture this, you're a wealthy traveler just boarded a new ship in Southampton, England, and you are currently en route to New York City. Welcome to the first class level here of the Titanic, that iconic staircase. Are you kidding me, dude? So we're, we're just gonna be venturing around. This is a, like I said, it's a, a full recreation of what the Titanic actually looked like based on historical pictures and info and things like that. And uh, wow, look at this. Okay, a sink in your bedroom is is kind of cr we've we've got a small bed there, we've got a, a double bed there, we've got a, a lounge, chairs and a sink. And then is this like a heater over here? You've got stained glass windows. I mean, very opulent, but I feel like the layout here doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's like we've got an adjoining room here. Ooh, we've got like a green room and then there's a, a blue room. Kind of the same layout here. So it looks like it's three people per room. This one has a double vanity. Interesting. The, the fact that you have the sink in there, I guess is important. You know, if you're going to brush your teeth and freshen up and things like that when you go back to your stateroom. But there's, is there no bathroom in here? I don't, maybe they're behind these. Or are you going to be working with public bathrooms? See, like there's a ladies public. That must be it. There must be public bathrooms that you don't have access to in your stateroom. Interesting. I don't know if I would like that. Not gonna lie, all I can think about is water just rushing around this corner and starting to come for you and you just turn around, you're just, you're trying to run, you're trying to save yourself. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Ooh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Giant, beautiful stained glass windows, almost like a, a church. Look at this. We've got, is this real? I, I would imagine these are probably real plants back then growing on these trellises here. This is kind of like an indoor outdoor type room. Looks like we've got a lot of chairs and tables and things. I don't know if this is a, it must be an eating place since we've got plates here. Heading back towards the interior. We've got a little, little cubby for your coats. You can hang your coats up and then it looks like this is gonna be your main dot. Dude, look at that. Real flowers in the middle of your table. Oh my goodness, this is opulent. Is this the bar here maybe? This, I mean, this, you know, the, the main dining rooms of cruise ships nowadays are, are a little bit more impressive in terms of like height and ceilings and things, but like this is true opulence. Look at that, the, the gold plates and the crazy napkins and the flowers and things. Yeah, this, this was high class. I think I'm going to try to go upstairs. I know the, the first class pretty much owned the top couple decks of the ship. Here we're on the A deck. So we're going to see where this takes us. Looks like this is another style of room you could have. This one's a double. You've got a little wardrobe here. Again, I mean, look at the materials that are being used. And that's a camera right there. Oh my gosh, the detail here is incredible. So I do want to give a shout out. I'll link the, um, the link to this demo and stuff down in the description. It's by Vintage Digital Revival. They've got a couple of projects regarding the Titanic. So this is Project 401. I think this is going to be kind of like a uh, historical, informative when it's done. You're going to have like cutscenes and pictures and narration and things like that. Can we go through here? Oh, we can actually use the revolving doors. Here's another little indoor outdoor type area. Maybe like a smoking lounge or something. I'm not sure. Oh, we've got like a little summer kitchen window. We've got some wine there. They can pass wine through to you as you're in here enjoying the ocean views. Can we go outside? Looks like we made it outside. Oh, this is insane but yeah they've got this and then they also have uh titanic honor and glory i've seen like youtube videos in my rec i get the weirdest stuff recommended to me but i've, I've seen it over the years so um you know they're they're killing it i think they're about 50 percent done they have 50 percent of this ship mocked up and uh explorable here so th i mean this is incredible look at those look really uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie to you uh, your butt isn't terrible but like your legs on these wooden pegs here that's first class over time you're gonna get so many pressure points and stuff that is not gonna feel good wow look at that atlantic out there who knows what kind of giant terrifying things are lurking mainly underwater but also above water that we could potentially run into this is weird 
I'm not going to lie. This is all under shade, and it's just rows and rows and rows of these wooden chairs. They don't look comfortable, to be honest. It doesn't look very first class to me. I, I would imagine a lot of these people didn't spend too much time outside. It was more being pampered inside and the eating and the drinking and the smoking and all the other stuff. But I, I would hope. I mean, we got like day beds and stuff nowadays. It's, it's kind of nice. Not going to lie. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we can cruise in today's day and age. Here's the bow of the ship up here. See if we can see anything off in the distance. It'd be a nice little Easter egg or something. But um, wow, dude, this is cool. So the officer's quarters and stuff must be up here. I kind of want to try to go see if we can find that. I love that a lot of the doors you can actually go in and mess around with. What does this say? To secure the comfort of the passengers while they're asleep, the company respectfully urges the early morning strollers will not pass forward of this sign. Interesting. Is there a way we can go in over here? Maybe right here? There's a steward call. Into the first class main stairway. The iconic stairs. Dude, I mean, it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's obviously very old. Like I said, it was 1912 when this thing sailed for the very first and last time. The unsinkable ship. Wow. To be honest, I did not expect this much wood. I mean, I guess in the, the movie and stuff, but like you can't use wood on ships nowadays, on cruise ships. It, it's a, a fire hazard. So the fact that this had this much wood is, is kind of incredible. And look at how intricate this wood is. Wow. The detail and everything. All right. So we're going to keep moseying along. Looks like we got a little piano here. I mean, this room is sick. I love the, the color of the wood. This is staterooms Y through Z. I'm imagining the wheelhouse is going to be somewhere up here. It's not there. Going to try maybe. Oh, this has got to be it. Officer's quarters. All right. This is where it all went down. This is a little bit sad to think about. We've got a... A map of the Titanic there, all of her decks and everything. Oh, okay. Here's the top deck. This is our first time being up here. This is pretty cool. Look at those giant smokestacks just rolling coal up there. I'm going to stay inside for now. Just kidding. We can't stay inside, so we're going to go outside. So up here, this must be where all the captains and officers and stuff did their work. Can we go up ladders? Not that one. Um, wow. Look at this. You can see the big... Uh, speeds for the engines we're full full speed ahead yep that that's exactly what we shouldn't be doing half slow dead slow standby stop and then we've got a stern for for our reverse here we've got what five engines and here's our little wheel dude this is incredible so we had an outdoor like flybridge here and then we had the indoor inside and this probably went to the the captain's quarters and the crew's quarters and things like that we'll go check that out in a second here's a secondary wheel and it's it's really unfortunate that we couldn't spot what was off in the distance lost around what 1500 people or something like that look at this over here we've got the infamous lifeboats those got a lot of use that's for sure wow this is pretty special. Absolutely beautiful day to be sailing the open seas. It would be a uh, a pleasure to be here, that's for sure. Just not uh, later on in the night. So let's let's go check out what's going on back here. These must be all the captains and crews quarters and stuff. We're gonna be able to get a peek at anything. I don't think so. Looks like this is the telecommunications room. We've got uh, maybe like an engineer's quarters. I would imagine the captain's quarters is probably a little bit nicer than this. But wow, look look at all this, man absolutely cutting edge for her time what is this back here it's like we've got a lot more technology engineer chart table of adjustments dude the detail we've even got signatures and stuff and i, I bet that was the real engineer's signature that was involved in this the detail that they have in here is is truly truly incredible can we go back Ooh, to the first class promenade okay we haven't seen this yet so the first class had access to uh pretty much like the first two or three decks here's another first class entrance i think we have oh you can see in through the windows and stuff that's cool so uh yeah i mean this this is where the wealthy were Th this looks a little bit better again these uh, loungers do not look that comfortable but this is is you know if, if you were a big shop businessman or something you were breaking ground and making history up here, enjoying your beautiful views, your fresh air, just having a, a grand old time. Can I go up here? What is this? The Is this like a crow's nest? Passengers are not allowed on this compass platform. This is a compass up here. Again, another beautiful view where we probably couldn't have seen anything coming because of the smokestack. This is incredible, dude. I... I the fact that technology nowadays, we can experience things like this. Like, again, this is over 110 years ago, and here we are 
just being an idiot running around the top deck of the Titanic. This is pretty cool. I, I, I can visually, mentally put myself here. Got a doorway over here. Oh, this? What? Okay. This is where we saw that the steward call. It's not the exact spot. I think that might have been over there. But that's how you access the upper decks. So if you were on that the B deck, now you could get up to the A deck here. That is pretty cool. What's... Passengers are not allowed beyond this point. This is the engineer's promenade. Okay. So this is where they put in a little bit of work. And then back here, this was the second class promenade. So second class, I guess, did have an upper deck area, but they were just towards the back of the ship and it was not nearly as nice. You could see that the first class had like maybe 60% of this top deck. And then the second class had the last 40%, but they also had a top deck. So honestly, second class, probably not that bad. Can we go down there? Second class entrance. I'm going to try going inside here. See if we can go downstairs. I mean, this is where I would be if I was on this ship. Just outside, enjoying the fresh air. I feel like there's not really a whole lot to do other than that. There's no, you know, laser tag and bumper cars and all the other stuff that we have nowadays. You're just kind of relaxing, which I guess would be nice. I feel like it'd get a little bit old. I don't know how long this journey was supposed to take. I'm going to look it up. 137 hours, a little bit over five and a half days, which honestly is not that bad. That That's a, a pretty traditional cruise sailing length, I guess. Ooh, aft well deck. We can go down here. Beautiful. Um, so, you know, five days, transatlantic crossing. You, you could do transatlantics nowadays just like that. I kind of want to do one at some point. Hopefully it doesn't have the, uh, the same outcome as this. But uh, yeah, that'd be fun. It, it'd be a nice time. A way to uh, cross the sea and do something that, that people really hadn't done up until that point. Got our flag hanging off the stern here. I don't think we can go up to the bow, so maybe we can do our little moment here. Just just for old time's sake for Rose. And, uh, oh, what is this? Pastor's not allowed up on the... This is the docking bridge. So they had engine controls and wheels up here. Can you imagine in modern times if they would put controls like this? in a free public area that anybody could access. This would be so messed up so fast. People would be coming up here, turning things, messing around. Yeah, that, that would not work. There was a lot of trust in the, the passengers back then. Is this some sort of a voice recorder thing? I have no clue. May, may, does that go somewhere else in the ship so they can talk to them and then hold it up to their ear and hear them? I have no idea, but that that is interesting. Yeah, these top decks don't really have much. No water slides, no giant pools, kind of nothing to do but just sit around and sit. There's just a lot of bench. I mean, these benches honestly look a little bit more comfortable than the loungers, so uh, give one to second class there. They get to enjoy that. Notice, third class passengers are not allowed on this deck. You guys are supposed to stay downstairs and don't even think about coming up here, you dirty filth. We're going to go inside. Oh, we've got a day bed. Yo, second class, honestly, looking pretty good. Price per dollar, you know, value per dollar spent. I'm thinking second class might be the way to go, although they do have wooden benches here instead of the nice loungers. But uh, we're going to head inside to check out everything else going on with second class. This is where we're going to have... How do we... Oh, we can go in here. We're going to have their hangout areas, their dining, their staterooms and things like that the first class staterooms were pretty nice so i'm curious to see how that compares this is vibey this is kind of a, a nice bar pub vibe we've got glasses of wine we've got chess boards many places to hang out looks like this is going to be more of what we saw over on the other side definitely a lot less sunlight you still have access to do we want to go i don't think we want to go downstairs yet do we you have access to sunlight up top but it's not quite Passengers are not allowed beyond this point. That's first class accommodations. They're keeping the first class walled off. Hello from the other side. I would love to be in first. Have we seen these first class cabins yet? I'm going to go in there and oh, wow. We haven't seen this segment. I don't think we're going to be able to see the whole ship. I just kind of want to get like a, a bit of a, a quick run through. Oh, wow. This guy's got, what is that? Rum? Papin Cattle and Co. St. Louis. Maybe it's not rum if it's from St. Louis. These are some more first class accommodations. This is kind of what we saw at the start, though. I want to go look for second class accommodations. But yeah, second class has... They, they have a little bit of space up top, but they, they really... That's back to the front. I'm getting a little bit turned around here. Maybe we want to go downstairs. I'm going to try going downstairs. They, they don't have quite as much outdoor room this is our dining saloon wow this is the main dining room for second class we've got whole pi pineapples 
uh, dinner served. Have some nice entertainment for the evening. I mean, th this is this is pretty incredible. You better be okay with talking to other people because you are not getting a private table. You are not sitting with your group. You are just in a, a huge lineup here. My goodness. All right. I'm going to try going downstairs again. We've got a world map. We're down on the E deck here. Is this like an information booth room? Look at this. Imagine your job being giving people information and you just sleep right next to your desk like that's what you do you sleep you wake up you sit down in a chair and you talk to people that would be frustrating looks like we might be getting to some second class accommodations here but a lot of the doors are closed keep in mind not a hundred percent of the ship is explorable yet so maybe they aren't available these are definitely a lot tighter think back to the very start of this video that long beautiful white wooden hallway now look we've got stucco work walls or whatever the heck this is and it's it's definitely not nearly as nice as bright as beautiful to the third class stairway uh oh now we're really gonna go down in class these are the the peons that is that's not a urinal is it might be a drinking fountain i thought that was gonna be a urinal that was that was gonna be a bit ridiculous so yeah look at this look how stark this is how ugh i mean even second class compared to this looked a lot better eh. i mean the ship lap isn't isn't terrible I want to try to see, I want to see in somebody's room. Looks like there might be some more third class cabins down there. I just don't know. We can see what's explorable here, I think. Look at these deck plans, dude. This is honestly incredible. So yeah, up here you can see that the dark red are the explorable areas. I believe we are on deck E or F. I think we're on F. We've got linen rooms. Ooh, there's a Turkish bath. We have to go check that out. Definitely want to see the third class dining saloons. Yeah, see, we've got second class quarters here. I don't see... There's a third class cabin we can see on E. I don't see any second class decks we can see. There's a squash court. Whoa, this is amazing. We made it to Scotland Road. So this is the big hallway. This is like the, the crew area. This is a, a big hallway that runs the entire length of the ship. Also, that is terrifying right there look at those flood doors think about those closing as the water is filling up oh my goodness so a lot of ships i think most ships always have these super long crew corridors that they use to move things from one side of the ship to the other we if you do like behind the scenes tours on ships you can see these we've done the behind the scenes tour on royal caribbean a couple of times uh they call it i think i I'm pretty sure it's I-4, which is, is like the big interstate that goes through the middle of Florida and connects a lot of stuff. So basically crew will use this to move things around the ship, get from one side of the ship to the other very quickly. Oop, here are the crew bunks, which don't look terrible, but this is a lot of people. Looks like you've got like a little storage area here. Yeah, this, I, like if you're, if you're here, that's fine. I, I'm good with that. If you're putting me here, where I've got somebody's head and somebody's feet, oh, it's it's two heads right next to each other. I guess that's better than feet. That would not be quite as fun. Or like th this guy, you've just got somebody's feet right next to you while you're sleeping. I mean, at least you've got a window, so it could be worse, but um, not the best living conditions for sure. I want to see, we've got the steward's lavatory here, the steward's lavatory. Ooh, look at the old school toilets, huh? That's a, a big seat there for sure. So we've got a bunch of them lined up. We've got a ton of sinks. We've got bigger sinks. We've got urinals and we've got another little window. We can't jump to see out the window. Dude, this is so cool seeing what it would have been like. What are all these? Stairs to the F, ooh, linen storage. We could check that out. Petty officers, lavvy, petty officers. So, oh, wow. The petty officer has his own room and his own lavatory. He's not going to be sharing a warm toilet seat with anybody else. Got the drying room, second corner stewards two, second corner stewards one, stewards two, stewards lavatory. Oh, this, can we not go in there? I can't go in there. That's chained off. Let's go check out the linen room, linen storage. Is that going to be interesting? Okay. Looks like this is where they kept all the sheets and stuff. Wow. I mean, you got to think about that. Yeah, you're going to need storage for all the sheets and everything. What's back here? To, to the baths. Let's go. Okay, so this is going to be a higher class area just off the linen room. Looks like you've got lockers. So you come in. 
You drop your stuff in the locker and then you've got a, a swimming pool, a bath, whatever you want to call it. Not quite as impressive as what's on modern cruise ships, but not bad. You've got little showers and things here. This is weird. What? You just sit? Are these, these aren't toilets, are they? Talk about performance anxiety. If you were having to sit in there while the kids are over here playing in the pool, I'm sure this is a kids free zone. These are the, the baths. And like the spa? Interesting. I mean, this, look, look at the detail. Look at everything that we have going on. Little lion's head there. Is this some sort of a water fountain or something? All the tile and everything. It truly was a sight to behold. Like this, this is incredible. Looks like we've got some sort of a spa room here. Doesn't really look that inviting to be. It kind of looks like an iron lung more than anything, but I think that's some sort of a massage spa deal. This looks like a, a like a dog washing station. What what is this? Are are you getting things done? Or it could be like a torture station. I, I don't know. It's definitely some sort of a spa. Maybe you're getting your hair cut and stuff. I have no idea. And then we've got more relaxing areas back here. This looks like it could be a sauna. Dude, this is this is so cool. There's so many things going on. This is definitely a sauna, huh? Look at that. We've got our thermometer. Our unofficial Titanic tour is going to end with a trip down to the fireman's tunnel, fireman's something. We're going to try to go to the boiler room. I want to see the belly of the beast here. Men will break step while in tunnel. I don't know what that means. So yeah, this, this is some sort of a, a, a tunnel alleyway, I think, to the Stokehold. So that back there is the fireman's passage. We come through here again. All these giant riveted doors. Ah, I, I just, it couldn't hold the water back, man. It, it's so crazy to think about. So these are the giant engines that they would stoke the fires and, and get this thing moving that eventually stopped moving and, and started moving in the opposite direction than what they wanted. This is just so cool, dude. Look at all the coal and stuff back here. We go up these. This is, is truly inside the belly of the beast of the Titanic. Imagine the panic and the chaos that was ensuing after they hit that iceberg. They had what, like two, three hours max to, to figure this thing out. So like all the people scrambling down these staircases and ladders and things. Can we go out here to, to Scotland Road? We could go back out there. But yeah, just scrambling, freaking out, trying to figure out where the hole was, how bad the hole was, how can they stop it? Can they stop the engines? Can they seal off doors? Like what, what can they do to make this a better situation? I'm sure this entire Scotland road was just chaos. People running to try to save it. People trying to run to save themselves, like hitting the emergency exit, running up to the top deck, trying to get your self or your wife or your kid or whatever else is spot on a lifeboat as this thing was just sinking to the bottom of the ocean my goodness this this is cool i, I really enjoy this man I'm, I'm impressed i'm excited to see what comes of this you know obviously i don't really know that much of what i'm talking about it was cool just to see and walk around but I'm excited for the completion of this project. I think we're going to have some voiceovers. I think it's going to be like a whole historical, almost like maybe museum-like experience. I don't know. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm also excited for the sinking mods where we're going to have to try to, you know, imagine one where you're like downstairs and you have to find your way to the exit to get to the lifeboat on time or something. That would be kind of epic and really sad and still pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of a fun little thing. Shout out to Vintage Digital Revival for doing this. Such a cool project. Really, really impressed and can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.